dear guests, today my topic is who is Raj? Although there is no right or wrong way to introduce yourself, I will try to answer who is Raj on multiple levels so that you can understand me better. And I will do this in a rather unconventional way. And by the end of my introduction today, you would either know a lot about me or nothing at all. I can see that you're excited now. <laughs> we all have given our introductions numerous of times. And usually this is how it goes. Hi, I'm Raj. I'm a biomedical engineer. I live in Sindon. I'm 24 years old with 12 years of extensive experience in my field. I like to say it this way. It sounds rather pleasing to me, rather than saying I'm 36 years old. And well done, by the way, if you got this right. But this introduction isn't going to work today because I've only told you about my name, my age, my location, etc. I haven't really told you who is Raj. And I can see you expect more from me. So let me try again. My name is Raj. I was born in India in a traditional Hindu family and I moved to the UK 20 years ago. I have my mum, my dad, two younger siblings in my family, all living in India. And over here in the UK I have my lovely wife and two beautiful twin girls. They just turned two this year and they are my world to me. And last but not least, a very naughty but cuddly Labrador. We all love our pets, aren't we? <laughs> this seems a reasonable answer, but you see, it still doesn't explain who is Raj. Because I only spoke about my ethnic background and mostly my relationships. Yet nothing revealed anything who is Raj. I'll try a little deeper this time. And let me say this with a short story. It was in the 90s. I would have been about 80 years old. On a sweltering day, I reached home after school, covered in sweat and dust in India. But in my mind, there was something else bothering me. I was thinking of a question that I never asked the teacher that day in the class. Because I felt that I would look stupid to ask such a question. So I kept quiet like I always did in, in my school. So that day when I went home, I asked my mum, and she was my first teacher. So I asked her, what does, and this is a Sanskrit phrase, so I asked her, what does Vasudevai Kutumbukam mean? And she explained it to me, Vasudevai Kutumbukam. You see, you're learning a new language as well. And it was surprising that she didn't say anything different to me what teacher did. But it felt different in that moment when my mom explained it to me. I somehow had a deeper understanding of that phrase because she was explaining it to me. Without going into too many details, it meant World is one family. World is one family. And it grew on me. 
I start to link everything to that basic thought, thought, but a very powerful one. Over the years, it embedded in me as one of my core values. My personality developed around these thoughts and values. And you see, a person is known because of his or her personality. Now, this could be I, as in Raj is, an extremely satisfactory answer, isn't it? Agree? I disagree. I'll tell you why. It's you see, no matter how powerful a value, a thought, a feeling is, it is still a thought in your mind. And until you take action, it's worthless. In conclusion, that could be who I am, the one who's taking action. But Raj is also a name, and that's just a paradox of language. Finally, I'll leave you with this quote from Shakespeare. What's in a name? A name is just a name, and it is hence a convention with no meaning behind it.